Hello and welcome to my hangar. I've got an interesting project here to look at. It's not a new project, it's an old project. Something I built about 25 years ago. Um, it's our wind tee for the airport here at Cassidy Arrow. Uh, we had a little tornado here a week or so ago, baby one, you know, off the end of the runway, about a half a mile. And it took the tail feathers off the, uh, the back of the wind tee. Here's a... This, this, one, this one, I believe, is actually from a model uh, radio control aircraft that uh, got there when uh, happened to run into the wind tee, but we, uh, we got a little bit more damage here. So it was time to repair it and uh, brought it in the hangar. Uh, Nathan from down the street, one of the neighbors, uh, came and helped me paint it, and he power washed it for me, which was real nice of him. So um, this is all built out of PVC plumbing. It's, uh, what is that, uh, two inch, probably PVC, and these are all PVC joints here. So this is my concept. And uh, one of the other neighbors, John Perry, actually did the math. So uh, thanks to John, 25 years ago, <laughs> as far as how long all these little pieces of pipe needed to be. I, and we assembled it together in his hangar. Um, I, uh, I don't remember that process terribly well, but I do recall the challenge of making sure that all the pipes were straight, the whole question of what order you have to glue things together in so that the pieces fit. And then um, this was what we thought was going to be the pivot point. We did some math. It turned out that it was just back about a foot from that. So as we got to this point, we uh, built a little stinger here. And I've got a, um, uh, we've got a stand that's just the bottom three feet of a street light. We had a neighbor here who was in the uh, construction business doing street lights and traffic lights and things like that. So he had one that had been damaged, but the bottom three feet was good. We have another neighbor who's in the machine tool business, and he built a little aluminum disc to go on top, and he actually welded it onto that pipe. And then um, I built a base, but what it's made of is uh, the rear axle from a Dodge Caravan minivan, uh, and the hub was machined on my lathe over here so that it would accept the center shaft of a Ford alternator. And I've got half of a Ford alternator bolted on there, so that gives us the slip rings for the power. So the power here plugs into that, and then uh, to keep it all weather tight, on top of that I have a stainless steel mixing bowl um, that I had to hammer out a little bit with an air hammer to make room for the alternator half to fit underneath it. And then that's all sealed, and uh, it's all sealed down tight so it's completely waterproof. And uh, so that's what powers it. Um, the lights here are barn lights. These are from a company called Tech Supply. I modified them to put a PVC base on them here. So we have LED lights in them, and it just spins out here. There's a little gasket that kind of keeps the moisture out. Put the LED light inside there. And you use the standard light bulbs. A lot of the runway lights use these candela bulbs. And what a pain in the rear those are. So we have the ability to light it up here. I, I wired it up just for uh, making sure all the lights are working since I was in here rebuilding it. So let's do that. So that's what we look for. We've got just a red bulb and a green bulb on the wingtips here so that you can kind of help at night and figure out what direction is pointed. It's pretty nice at night. You can see it real well. So you think, well, gee, where do you get red and green bulbs? Well, you have to go to the party section of the hardware store. They've got red and green bulbs. Who knew? So what we've done here after painting, power washing and painting, is uh, we've cut out uh, sections of some, uh, what we call them, uh, PVC outdoor panels, sort of like uh, outhouse roof sort of stuff. This is a little bit coarser weave than the, the old one was, but, you know, things change every 25 years or so. And we're just, I'm just in the process here. In the past, we used wire ties here. We found out the wire ties were not very UV resistant, and so they would, they would break. And then we went to black wire ties, which lasted a little bit longer. What I'm doing this time is 14-gauge solid wire. So I think that 14-gauge copper is probably going to work. Um, once I get them all threaded through here and get some help from my son, probably, um, then uh, we'll wind them all around and tighten them up tight. So we'll have them nice. So that's the Wind Tee project. Um, before we built this, we flew around and we looked at a lot of different Wind Tees uh, at different airports. A lot of them are just a, te a tetrahedron, right? They're an they're a, a angle iron frame with plywood on it. Um, there's a lot of different styles. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun to be a little bit artistic and engineer-like, right? So this looks like a Wind Tee that an engineer made. It's kind of a team effort. We've had a lot of people involved in it. The net result is a pretty nice Wind Tee. So I'd share it with you. Catch you on the next project.